But uh, this is it, guys. This is it. They are not here tonight. They are in see it. And they said, Sir Chris, Sir Finn, we want to enjoy tonight the party, but we are taking care of the boat. We don't want to let the boat alone. So our heart is on the gypsy. For next year, let's make the most important thing in our lives for next year, and that is health. So I wish everybody a uh, happy Christmas and New Year's, but more importantly, uh, stay healthy and God bless Mabuhay, Filipinas. Fly high, butterfly, firefly. Fly high, butterfly. <laughs> hey, you like it over here? Eh? You like it? <laughs> it's been a crazy day so far. We started off at 9 a.m., went to the city, we went to. Oh, where did we go to? Marisawa, check on some tiles. We went to Triumph to buy 20 lights for the house. Then we went to a shop to get all of our uniforms for the crew. It's been stitched out, really nice. Can't wait to show you guys that. And then we went to Handyman, mail store, and then also in the mall, bought a couple of items. Went back to Pura Vida, picked up a lot of stuff. We got some crates for diving. Uh, pictures for the walls. It's gonna be very nice, some of my pictures. And a printer, new laptop, all for the captain. So the car is loaded with full of stuff and we are bringing it back now. This is it guys. We have the boat ready. So the dive platform is ready. Let's get some lunch. <laughs> Crazy day. <laughs> oh, and I forgot, Thor puked all over the car at the same time, that was great. That's the thing, if you do that many things in only two and a half hours, maybe three, then you can't film anything. This is a day we had to go, 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 load up everything, and now it's like 12.30. We gotta bring it to the boat after lunch. Well, today is 30 of November. Five days to go, guys. Five days to go. <sighs> nice one. Oh, it's full. It's full, yeah. yeah. That's the uh, mask, huh? Can you open that? Uh... Yeah, that one, that is the spur, spur moss. Ah. This one is a spur. If there's long, maybe for this. And this one is for adults. And this one is for children. Full, very good. Ah. Ah! Whoa! Ooh. Upside down. Upside down. <laughs> Look at that. Where are we gonna put this one, boss? No question. Super happy with the print quality. Oh, I'm very impressed. <laughs> I never printed any of my pictures before. Yeah, I like it. It's what well, was it put it in the frame? I'll show you guys again, but uh, so far, amazing. Let me look at the quality. Show you guys better later. But first, now we gotta put up the dive platform. The very last thing we're doing on the gypsy, the last part, and it's now installed. Let me show you. Beautiful. Stainless steel bolted into the ground. And then if they have a gear boss, we wrap around again the another section there. Another section. Yeah. And also right there. 
Oh, also for these guys. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be cold down. A little bit space here for cameras. Yeah, we put the matting, uh, like yoga mat. Same here, it's a lot of space. Up here tonight, they are in see it, and they said, Sir Chris, Sir Finn, we want to enjoy tonight the party, but we are taking care of the boat. We don't want to let the boat alone. So our heart is on the gypsy. I'm sure the guys have been preparing and I've seen them prepare for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Three of us, okay. So prepare yourself for that. Uh, like Chris said with Herbie, he's not here with us today. So I just want to say for next year, let's make the most important thing in our lives for next year and that is health. So I wish everybody a uh, happy Christmas and New Year's, but more importantly, uh, stay healthy and God bless Mabuhay, Filipinas. It is December 1, which means 23 days until we move into the house. And this is actually the last day I'm here at site before I leave the island. As I'm going on a first trip with MI Gypsy, our new boat, all the way up to Sipalai, maybe Kakansilio if the weather is okay. So, uh, yeah, last time we're here for this me for maybe 10 or 12 days something like that but we came up here because there's some nice updates I want to check out the whole ceiling of the ground floor work in progress nicely now that's all for the ceiling it's coming good and then uh, here in the kitchen pipes are up for the electric I added, I want some sockets here, just in case we ever have appliances, you know, baking machine or mixers or whatever, blenders, so at least we can connect here above the kitchen area and the sink. It's coming good. Hey, okay, spandrel is up. Beautiful. Okay, we're going for the parking area. Nice, nice. The big window for the CR because we wanted to have uh, natural light at least the CR is not dark so we can do in the double and have a big window at the same time yeah doing the double what double? number two. Oh, uh, number two. Oh my god I'm so slow now I'm sorry <laughs> yeah <laughs> so slow but there's gonna be blurred windows you won't yeah, see yeah it's it. gonna be uh, frosty yeah Owning, right? I like the shelves here, it's a nice touch. Add one more here, a little bit, so then it will look good. This is my walk in closet. Thank you so much, Finn, for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> it's actually a requirement. I know. It's because, not Because a... uh, having my clothes mixed with your mountains of clothes. <laughs> So I have my own area with my clothes, so I separate it from all of her dirty clothes. <laughs> Not dirty, yeah. so many. My clean clothes would be up there. No, no. Yeah. 
you're the one who's moving Now it's going to be mountains of clothes and we know exactly who they are. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and here, um, the raffle, they were not able to finish it because the raffle needs to be sent it here. June, so will bring it here, all of those. And yeah, um, as you can see, uh, the height is around 295, so 9.6 uh, feet. Good. So we're supposed to be planning to have 10 feet, but that's really, really high. That's too much. Uh, it's okay, no problem here. We had uh, the company ESJ with us uh, a few days ago doing all the windows and measurement. Our second glass company we're looking at and uh, I think we're going with them. So yeah. here, uh, the original one we had actually was with frames in between each glass, which I think is going to destroy a lot of the view. I wanted to have the glass, the glass, 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 glass to glass. glass. Yeah. So you won't see any frames of aluminum in between each glass here. So this will be like a whole, almost looks like a one window. That's why I went with them. And uh, it will be extra thick one of these. And then we have tempered glass as well for the main sliding doors. And then we go, oh, beautiful view. I was imagining when we are in the renting house, I was like, that would be amazing. How are you going to go out of bed with that view? Not with that home. No. Yeah, I can't really show the view now because still uh, all under construction. What else should we show? Um, I think we need to go up. Upstairs, okay. Yeah, also um, today uh, the company for the, uh, the windows, they're going to start making our windows in upstairs so hopefully before 20 they're gonna put it on and maybe we're gonna put all they're starting here oh, oh this one so cement mix pure cement and then adhesive yeah three things for the tiles now let's go to the second floor let's start already with our tiles here Okay, I'm ready to go. We didn't have a note. Oh, the wind is so strong. I'll give me a hand. Wow, look at this. It looks same color. Yeah, it's very similar. It's a nice touch though. It still is matte, but not slippery. Yeah, this Another basic upgrade or finishing touch we did now as well. We have the cable of the starting. And maybe if we fly the drone later, I'll show you exactly where we put it on the uh, rooftop. So I'm very excited to see how good the internet is here with nothing to obstruct the disc and uh, being a little bit elevated from sea level. Uh, can I, I can't wait to use this Starlink. I'm so disappointed, frustrated, overpriced with all these <laughs> phone companies here. Like it's just having our own independence for electricity with all the brownouts that are here, how high the electricity is, how high the internet is. If you do it yourself, it will save so much long term. And probably more important, reliability. Like how, how many times a week does the internet just drop down completely? All the time. Maybe three, four times a week. There it is. That's the Starlink. I just got a brand new one. The other one we put on the boat. So, uh, yeah. Nice spot. Nothing obstructing, nothing obstructing the uh, Starlink. Mas Mahal, what do you mean? Uh, this is more expensive than the other one in the CR. The CR is only 165. This one is like 179. Five peso difference. Five peso no, no, okay. One peso difference. One peso difference. One peso difference.
No, 179, 10 pesos, baby. Hey, you need to try something. Take off the shoes and walk bare feet. See how it feels on your toes. It's good. Yeah. Cold. Come on, walk, walk, walk. It's cold. Don't just touch it. Walk a bit. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. How does it feel? It's so good. I like it. Oh, it's nice. That feels nice. They said there's no need aircon here. It's so cold here. Yeah, night time. Yeah, it's cold at night. We got to go today. It's amazing. But first, the uh, oh yeah, we come through. Something to show to you the pump room. So this is gonna be the pump room. So we're gonna put the big tank of water with the pump, everything goes to the house. Two pumps. And you can see how quickly it's done if we use uh, hollow blocks. It is like four or five times faster at least. Very fast. Uh, and also we're making this room big enough because in the future we will have our own filter system so we will filter all our water and then you will filter it before it goes into the house so we don't have to always go up and down just to get drinking water next update from the house maybe check out Sherlin's channel she'll be here coming uh, a couple of times up in the week and uh, while I'm away so I think she will make a video, but I think uh, she wants to make some vlogs or uh, <laughs> use some time. And the main reason I'm going away from the island or this province is because the big trip, of course. The first one on the Emma Gypsy. So we're on the boat, we're just loading up. We brought a bunch of material, spare linens, clothing, you name it. And then later on today, we're bringing uh, two trucks of food, dry, uh, dry goods, and then on the day we leave, the uh, fresh food. But yeah, boat is ready. We finished uh, the kitchen, now we have the rain shoots. And uh, the last part we finished was the dive deck, the dive platform. Take a look at this now. Now it's complete. Oh, nice is that. Ten times, weights, boxes, everything is here. You guys are doing finishing touches. Coming good. Beautiful here and see it. Super calm. We have a Nipa huts where we're gonna bring the guests so they can wait between before we load them back on the boat. This is just perfect spot. Paintings. This is my photo from Tubata. And this one as well. It doesn't feel like a print, it almost feels like a painting. I'll show you guys in the master cabin one of the paintings. The Thresher Shark from Malapascua. Also, the charging station is finished. Very important when we want to have that all aluminum, so when you have a huge amount of uh, electronic things, charging batteries for divers, that uh, this is sort of a uh, flame proof. But uh, also, it's here at the helm, so we always have visual on this part. It windy. <laughs> That's why on this next trip, uh, we'll go around the island where there's uh, no more wind and protect it. But uh, this is it guys, this is it. Later today, we a lot of supplies and then on Monday, 4th December, we're going out. We couldn't have done it the 
four or five months that I've been working on the boat here in the Philippines, we couldn't have finished it without Filipino people. Like I, I know that that's a fact. That's why we brought it earlier from Malaysia. It's just so slow in Malaysia, and we never had the manpower to do these jobs. We have always had around 15 guys working on the boat every single day until nighttime. From 6 a.m. until 10 p.m., these guys have been working their ass off. I'm so proud of these guys and I'm so thankful that we're finishing the boat here in the Philippines. It's been a huge project and this is the finishing line. Operation ready. 4th December, we are going out. And we're gonna film something special for the next couple of weeks. I can guarantee you that. If the weather is good, we go to Cagayan Silio. We pray that we'll have a safe journey, we'll, we'll have a good weather, but captain's in charge when we start, and we have no say at that point. That's the captain's decision, so we'll see. Anyways, uh, busy days ahead. And we'll see you guys next time.